Hello everyone, welcome back to Earth and Space. Today we are going to continue on part 2 of the Sun Slayers. So I hope you guys are all ready. Today we are going to be learning about the outer layers. Here we go. The first one is our photosphere. This is the lowest layer of the sun's atmosphere. It is about 300 miles thick. This layer is where the sun's energy is released as light. So because of this layer, we get light from the sun. The next one is the chromosphere. This is the second most outer layer of the sun. It serves thousands in kilometers of thickness. It is right beneath our photosphere and it is right above the corona. Due to its density, low density, it is very transparent, meaning that because it is so transparent, we as ourselves hardly even see this one. The next one, it is a transition region. This one is very narrow. It is about 60 miles. The layers between the chromosome, the chromosphere and the corona, where the temperature here arises up to about 8,000 to about 500,000 degrees. So that is very hot. And then our last one, our corona. The corona is the outer atmosphere of the sun. It extends many thousands of kilometers above the invisible surface of the sun, which is our chromosphere, correct. Here, we sort of transform it, transforming it into a solar wind that flows towards the solar system. The material in this layer is extremely hot, almost like the plasma of like lava, sort of, to give you guys more of a reference. It is extremely hot. For your assignment, everyone, all you have to do is just draw the picture that is right there. Draw me that picture, label it correctly, just how it is. And then I want you guys to go ahead and answer that question that is right there as well. Once you're done with today's assignment, send it over to me, to my email address. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I can't wait to see all of your emails. Right? Bye, everyone.